Okay, so in this video we're going to talk more about perimeter and area and this time of irregular shapes. Okay, so if you look at a parallelogram, a parallelogram looks just like a rectangle except for what's the main difference? Yeah, it's slanted, so each corner is no longer 90 degrees. It's almost like a box that you're flattening. Now, what happens when you flatten a box? It takes up a lot less space, doesn't it? So as you press the rectangle's corner, you're going to get an obtuse angle. This big angle is obtuse. The other angle here is acute. So these would be the same angle, these are going to be the same angle, but you're losing area. So if we know that this is 12 feet, and this is, I'm just going to call this for this sake, ten, 5 feet, even though it's a little different than your example, and I'm going to call this one 10 feet. Okay, the perimeter is still all the way around the outside, right? But the area is how much space is taken up on the inside. And you can notice that we're losing area. This is the reason why we have to have the height here. Who can tell me what the perimeter would be if I'm just labeling those two sides? Because remember that the, the side that's parallel, these are equal to each other, and these parallel sides are equal. So who can tell me what the perimeter would be? How would you find the perimeter? How did you come up with that? So 12 plus 10 is 22, right? But then we have the other side, so that's 22. And so total, you have 44 feet. Now remember the feet, it's just feet because this is a linear distance around the outside. Perimeter is the outside of the figure. For the area here, we're going to do the base times the height. So you can see the height is the 90 degree angle that's the reason is the is the length at a 90 degree angle that's why it would be 5 so your area is actually 5 5 feet times what 10 feet and what do we get there 50 feet squared okay now let's imagine that you wanted to put you want to carpet your house you want to carpet your house. Now, has anybody ever been looking for, how do we describe my house? I say, I say, well, how big is your house? Square feet, yes. So usually we have, our house is in square feet. And my house is really small, it's 720 square feet. Now when I say square feet, that's the same thing as feet squared. You could write it out as square feet. Feet squared means the same thing. So let's say I have a bedroom that I want to put carpet on that's here. Then over here is my living room. Okay, something like this. So we have an irregular shape. We don't have just a square and just a rectangle. We, we are putting them together. So if I know some things, let's say, okay, the bedroom is, is 15 feet. And over here, I can see that this is um, three feet. I'm just making this up, but these are not really great measurements. Three feet, I don't think that would be a bedroom. But let's call this right, right here another three feet. Then my living room is 20 feet. Now, if I say that this is three feet and this is another three feet and this is 20 feet, can anyone tell me this missing side at the bottom? What would be the length of my living room? So this is bedroom, living room. Okay, and you can see I'm not an architect. How did you get, so, so I just heard 21. How did you get 21? 3 plus 3 plus 15. So we can take these sides here, 3 and the 3 and the 15, give me this total length here, 3 plus 15 is 18, plus another 3 is going to be 21 feet. 
Now, if I want to find the area, I could break these into bits however I want to find the area. So let's say I want to find the area of just this rectangular piece. What's going to be the area of this portion of the bedroom? Area. Uh, area equals, right, just that piece is going to be 15 feet by 3 feet. So that's a total of 45, oops, 45 feet squared, right, square feet. Now, if I want to find the area of this whole, let's call this the living room and part of the bedroom. So how would I find the area of just that piece? What would it be? So it would be 20 feet times 21 feet. And 2 times 21 is 42, and then put a 0. Is that what you have? Feet squared. Now, what's the area that I have total? My total area, I would want to do what? Add, yeah, add them together. The area of part of the bedroom and the area of part of the living room. So the areas together are going to be 45, oops, 45 feet squared plus the 420 feet squared. And what do I get for a total area? 465 feet squared. Okay, so now I've found the area, and you could literally do this with your own house, your own living space. You could figure out, well, what's the area, right? If I wanted to put something down, like I said I wanted to put carpet over it. Okay, well, here's the problem. We know the square footage but it turns out I went to the carpet store and they sell carpet for in square yards. Oh yes, could we change from feet to yards? What do we know? I'm gonna turn the page, okay? Okay, three feet equals one yard and what if I just had a square? Three feet equals one yard. So if I find the area, three times three is, yeah, three feet times three feet equals nine feet squared. What if I find the area in yards? So it would be one yard times one yard is equal to, anyone? One times one is one, yard times yard is yard squared. Oops, that was supposed to be a squared, you guys. <laughs> I was probably writing a three because I had a three here, okay? So can you see, can you actually see that? If I were to take another pen and I break this into three feet, like this, and I break this into three feet, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine square feet, because that is one foot, that one piece right here is one foot squared, just that one little piece. I have nine of those, which is the reason why, so that's really important to notice, because if I was going to take, let's take my room again, I'm just gonna actually simplify the room. Let's say this was uh, 15 feet, and over here, this one was, um, actually it should be longer, right? This is 21 feet. What's the area in square feet? 21 feet times 15 feet equals, let's use our calculator. 21 times 15 equals 15. Yeah, that's supposed to be a 15, sorry. I was messing it up. 315 feet squared. Now, if I want to figure out how many square yards that is, what could I do to translate this into square yards? What are your thoughts on that? I didn't hear exactly. Hmm. Divide by three, interesting. If I change this to yards, don't I divide this one by three? 
this will give me yards, right? So how many yards is the length? 21 divided by 3 is 7 yards, okay? How, what would I do to change this one to yards? It's feet. How would I change it to yards? I'm going to tell you right now this question is going to be on your test. So pay attention. Divide by 3 feet, right? Why 3 feet? Because we're changing it from feet into yards, right? How many yards would that be? Five yards. Yes, that's what I did. That's I. <laughs> yeah, that's why I changed it from 13 to 15. So what would be the area in yards? If these are my new dimensions, 7 yards times 5 yards equals 35 yards squared. Now, what I will show you, this is just a side note. If I, if since I know that nine feet squared is equal to one yard squared, if I, before you had said most of the, the biggest problem people will make is they, when they try to change this to yards, they'll only divide it by three. What would we actually have to divide this by? If I wasn't going to change these, notice I divided this by three, I divided this dimension by three. So here, I would actually want to divide feet squared by 9 feet squared gives me my yard squared. What do you get when you divide 315 by 9? Because here we divided each, we divided each dimension by 3. What's 3 times 3? 9. So try 415 or 315 divided by 9. What do you get? The same thing, 30 five yards squared. So I just wanted to show you that you can do that either way. You can, you can convert your, you can one, convert each side length to find the yards squared, or yards, right? Or we can divide our area by nine We'd have to divide by 9 in order to get the right answer, right? So this is our area in yards squared. But actually, the difference here is that I will save you a lot of money because a lot of people will say, I say, okay, if I say that the carpet costs, let's say, okay, the carpet costs $20 per square yard. Yes, that's like unit price, right? So $20 for every square yard. Well, how many square yards do you need to cover your floor? You need 35 because here's the yards. You have seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then over here, you have five of them. You're going to have 35 of these carpets, $20. It costs you $20 for that square yard of carpet, and you need 35 of them to fill the space. Now, if you go $20, how much will it cost altogether? $20 times, how did you get that? Times 35 yards squared. So here, you're going to pay how much? Seven hundred dollars for the for the carpet. If you had multiplied the twenty dollars by the three fifteen, you would be getting way too much carpet, first of all, and you would be paying a lot more money, wouldn't you? So, right. I mean, it's expensive carpet, right? But maybe you could find cheaper stuff. Go to the rebuilding store. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so if I did three fifteen times the $20 per square yard, I would get, oh my gosh, I would have to pay 6300 I just saved you guys like almost, you know, well, how much? About minus, minus 700 I just saved you $5,600, okay? So you want to go for the square yards when they're talking about, they're going to price it out per square yard. You get the difference there? Okay, so that's a tricky kind of concept for a lot of people, but we're basically building different shapes. 
here and then finding out how much it would cost. So perimeter again would go around the outside. What kind of things would you use that would require you to find the perimeter like in a house? Think about in your living room for a minute. Is there anything that you would buy to put around the outside of, of on the walls? Okay, like what would what would you sometimes back in the eighties we used to have wallpaper, we used to put border. Have you ever seen this? My brother he got um like A team border or something. Okay. All right, let's move on. Um actually I'm going to stop this one because it's really long. We'll start another one.